So usually when you get a pretty affordable budget laptop, it actually sacrifices performance. But what makes this laptop great is that it has the perfect balance between performance and affordability. So if you want a laptop that can run the latest game smoothly and not leave you broke, I think this is the one. This is actually one of the most popular laptops in the world. It's a Asus Tough laptop and it's really number one on many websites, including Amazon. So you might be asking what's inside this laptop. It has an RTX 3050 and an i5 12450H, which is a pretty long name if you ask me. But anyways, these components work well together to provide a seamless gaming experience. This laptop features a high resolution display with vibrant colors and it has 144Hz which is just enough. Obviously what I like most about this laptop is that it's portable and it has a thin design. This makes it very lightweight and it's easy to carry around so you can play a game anywhere you go. Alright enough of the talking, let's see how this laptop actually performs. So I'm in creative right now and everything seems to be running pretty smoothly. I get no delay on this laptop whatsoever and everything seems responsive. The frames on it are actually pretty good. All right, so we do get about 400 FPS. You can't really see it, but it's like 450. Now I'm curious how it's gonna perform when it go into a game. All right, so I did just get into a match and the FPS actually looking pretty good. I capped it at 165 and it's pretty much more consistent than my budget PC that I use at the moment. And there's this guy right here I'm gonna try to eliminate. All right. Yeah, yeah, come on. And this location is like full of people. As you can see, you can see footsteps everywhere. And I don't think I had any FPS drops just yet. Like, it's extremely smooth. Oh my God, what is the guy doing? He's terrible. Look at him. Even though I'm playing quite bad because my thing is like on 50, but still. No one can hang with me. Look, this guy is clued as well. Yeah, I'm just too good on this laptop. I'm a true laptop player. Oh, I finally took his all. Why is he spamming me? I can't really play with like players who spam. Yeah, rid of him real quick. This guy is actually like, good, so I might actually have to try. Alright, never mind, I just clipped him. Another guy right here. I'm gonna try to go for a clip as well. Fully boxed and yeah, he just gave up. Like I said, I'm too good on this laptop. So what do you guys think? Should I switch to this laptop or should I just stay on my budget PC? I can't lie, my budget PC gets less FPS than this, so I might actually have to switch. What? Can't even get up. There are some guys right there. Yeah, I think he just eluded the vault. And let me just go for this here. And yeah, he has everything. Nice. All right, so I can't lie with a lot. I literally lost that much. I was like second place, so uh, it's fine. I'm gonna try to do better in this one. My loot is pretty decent. Right, no one's here. I keep hearing someone, but I don't know where he is. He might be right outside, but I need to pop a shield. Get a full HP. Alright, let's actually see if he's good or not. I'm gonna try to make it seem like I'm in a fight so he comes over. Literally, like the best tactic. And yeah, like I said, if you want someone to come over, just make it seem like you're in a fight. I'm gonna just sneak up on him. My awareness is trash, but he is bad as well, so GG's. Alright, so the conclusion is this laptop is actually pretty good for the price. It goes for around 800 bucks, which I think is pretty affordable. It has everything you need in a gaming laptop and even more. So if I was on the look for a laptop, I'd definitely get it. This being said, make sure to like and subscribe if no is on if you enjoyed this video as it really helps.